Let's go weed for the rest of my life. You can find me posting all my posts, talking on the platform. Ah, uh, YouTube, we are not in the grow this time, not doing a plan up shake. Uh, update, I wanted to talk about um, overpriced nutrients. Like nutrient companies basically just ripping us off sometimes, charging us out the back end for products that should only be a fraction of the cost just because we go to you know those brands or go to the hydro store or look up you know plant nutrients and you know that's what we buy right so wanted to go over that uh get right into it basically how we can save money with nutrients because they're expensive we go through a lot of them all the time if you're growing obviously the more you grow the more you go through and they ain't cheap right so uh if you guys have ever used anything such as Athena Cleanse, $63 a gallon, right? I think mine was $70 in my local hydro shop. Uh, Cultured Solutions Clear Line uh, and Floraflex Root Drip. What do they all have in common? They are all hypochloric acid. Um, basically salt in water, sometimes a little bit of vinegar mixed in um, for pH and stabilization, but all these companies sell them. A lot of other companies do sell these as well. They are all extremely expensive. It was $152 for a gallon, $53.99 for a gallon. And these are the cheapest ones I can find. That's why I went to Amazon for this for $63. My local hydro shop was $70 plus tax. So I'm sure if you got any of the other ones locally, you're going to be paying a lot more as well. And all of these disinfect. They're basically um, oxidized uh, salt water. So it dis it's like a... It's stronger than bleach, but not harsh. It disinfects to keep biofilm from building up in your res tanks, in your lines, keep from mineral deposits building up in your medium as well as your lines. Helps just disinfect the water from pathogens. So it does a lot of good stuff, right? And you can buy this anywhere, not just for plants. Uh, it's been approved for plant use and safe for people, animals, anything, not corrosive. So a lot of good stuff. Kind of smells like chlorine a little bit, but it's not chlorine. Safe for the plants. What I found out after paying, because this is what I've been using, cleanse at $70 a gallon, crazy expensive. I went online and I found that it sold everywhere, marketed everywhere, cheap as hell. This right here, can you see that? $19.99 for one gallon. And they make it look extra safe with the dog here and everything. Cheap as hell. If you guys are on my Instagram, you've seen that I bought this recently. Vaxxin Labs. This was $19.99 as well. So not only are these $20 for a gallon opposed to $70, $150, or $53 or $55 basically. I mean, if you add tax. But all of these, at least this right here, cleanse is 0.028%. So let's just say 0.03%. I believe the clear line's a little stronger, but I couldn't find the exact percentage. And Floraflex is about the same as the other one. So these are all around 0.03%, give or take. Whereas these, for $19, so for a fraction of the cost, you know, a quarter of the cost, or an eighth of the cost in some of them, this is not only dirt cheap compared to it, but it is 0 0.048, so about 0.05%. So not only so this is a fraction of the cost and double the strength. So if these tell you to use two milliliters per gallon, such as cleanse, or if you flush 10 milliliters per gallon, use half. Use one milliliter per gallon. And there's some people I know that use this at five milliliters per gallon all the time instead of two. Um, because when they messaged Athena, Athena recommended that because they were having salt buildup issues or they were having root rot issues, and this helps, you know, it's antibacterial, right? So it keeps your root zone very clean. And if you're running uh, synthetics, this is probably amazing. I don't know if it'd be as perfect for your organic grows because it may affect some of your microbiology as well. Um, I would You'd have to look into that as an organic grower. But if you run anything like drip lines, all that stuff, it's going to keep all that from building up. So maybe even with organic, if on a really low dose, keep at least your lines clean, right? But the fact that this is, you know, right here, this is uh, three times the cost at half the strength. So save three times and it lasts twice as long. Like there's zero downsides. And I've, I've been trying to re research to see what the difference is. Is there like an inactive ingredient somewhere that's causing a difference? Because on their label it says the rest of that is just inner ingre ingredients. So I've emailed Athena a few days ago. But they haven't gotten back. 
none of the companies have gotten back to say what what the other ingredient is. It's probably it, it's just water or maybe a slight amount of vinegar to adjust the pH. Which straight plain vinegar on your plants would be bad, but diluted is fine. I mean, I know people who use that as a you know as a pH buffer, but. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought that was mind blowing. So you could save huge amounts. And imagine if you're running this in a commercial setup. I sent this to my friend that works in a Stizzy because he's, I mean, if, what if he could convince his boss to switch over and, you know, he's the reason they save mass amounts of money. But I find this mind blowing. This is crazy. Like, if you guys have figured this out, let me know. If you know if there's a reason why you can't use any of these other lab grade ones. Let me know. I, I can't find a single re reason. It's just labeled and marketed differently. You label and market this for growing and especially cannabis. People are going to buy it thinking, it, it, you know, that's what you need to have. So I just felt scammed and ripped off. And the fact that none of the companies are messaging me back when I question kind of just backs that filling up. So I love Athena. I love a lot of these company, you know, companies. I have mentioned I wanted to run Floriflex, but it just like shined this glaring light on how little they really give a shit at the end of the day even though it's always like for growers by growers and all that good stuff at the end of the day you know they're a company trying to make a profit but i mean jesus that's one fat profit i mean if these guys are clearly a company making a profit as well you know and with their 19 dollars and they're pet friendly and you know dogs i mean they're probably selling the dream over here but you, you know, i mean come on man half the strength and like four times or eight times the cost it just it ain't lining up all right end it here rant over had to share that if you're on my, you know, if you guys have Instagram, follow me on there. Same name, Tri-State, Tricombs. I'll pop it up now. Other than that, end it here. Peace out, YouTube. A uh, little different style of video. Hope you don't mind that. Other than that, happy growing, y'all.